how to use DSERS with Shopify step by step. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you a step by step tutorial on how you can easily use DSERS with your Shopify online store. With DSERS, you can easily connect your Shopify store and use the software to find supplier. They have featured to get the right supplier for you. Then you import products from your supplier with one click. Then it helps you to push those products to your Shopify store with just one click. And there's no need for you to create a product page to each product you get from DSERS because they will automatically create a product page for you and import to your Shopify store, which is really awesome. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's visit the site at dserscom This is the main homepage of the software. And from here, you can see that they have partnered with AliExpress, the online supplier software, where you can buy different products with lesser or manufacturer price. To start here, we need to first create an account, of course, for us to start using this software. We can try the software for free, but if you are wondering if how much the monthly fee of the other plan, then let's check their pricing. And here they have different pricing plan and they have the free plan that includes basic features, 3000 product limits per store, and more. Then they have the advanced plan for $19.90 per month, and they have the pro plan for $49.90 per month, and lastly, the enterprise plan for $499. So these are the different plans that they have. So let's go ahead and create an account. So just click here, try it now. And to sign up, just provide your email and then create a strong password. And once done, just click on create an account button. And let me just fill out this form very quickly. After that, you just need to connect your Shopify store. And by the way, you may also connect your WooCommerce and CSV files or Wix store here. So for today's tutorial is about Shopify. So let me choose Shopify here. And here before signing up to DSERS, so you need to first have a Shopify store. So here I don't have the Shopify store yet. So let me just first create a Shopify store. So I will just be quick in creating my Shopify store. So bear with me and I will be right back after. So stay tuned. So I just created my Shopify store. So just link again your Shopify store here. Just click here, yes. And then here just install the DSERS in your Shopify to link the two up. And click here to install. Next step is to select a plan. So I will just click the free plan here. It says no credit card needed for the paid plan if you select this paid plan but they will ask you for your billing information if you select this. So I will just select free. Then let's also link the AliExpress. I will just log in to my AliExpress account. So for those who don't have a uh, AliExpress account, then no worries. You can simply create your AliExpress account. They have their simple guide. All right, so I will just go ahead and log in to my AliExpress account. And after the login, I will just go ahead and authorize the link of my DSERS app and the AliExpress with Shopify. And after the authorization, I will be prompted here. We have three options over here to let's start the ordering process. Let's start importing products and I will explore freely and learn later. So I will just go ahead and select the third one so that I can explore the software. So it will prompt us to the DSERS app main homepage or dashboard. So this is the main dashboard. So here from your main dashboard, you have your AliExpress uh, supplier. So here on your left sidebar, you can see here different tab and you are in the find supplier now. So you can see here different products that you can 
、um, choose from. So just select or search for the keyword of the product that you would like to sell in your Shopify store. So you have your also category here for pet, baby, fitness, beauty, kitchen, woman, or you also have different categories here. So you just need to search and look for the product. With lesser price, and once you found you the product, then just select it, and here you can add to import list, so that it will be added in your import list. So here, let's just stay here. So let's select more. So from your left sidebar, you can see here you have your import list over here. So you just need to click on it, and you will be prompted to the import list. So here are the product that we imported here. So for you to push it to your Shopify store, you just need to select the product that you want to. So here and this one, and then you just need to push to. Shopify for this one to be added in your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and click on it. So here, select store to publish the product. So we only have one store here, but if you have multiple store, then you can select the store here. You have different option, but mine I only have one. So down here you have your pricing rule. So what is this? So please note, pricing rule includes pricing templates, currency, and assigned cents. If you check this box, the pricing rule will be applied to your product's prices according to the pricing rules you set in your settings. So you can set this one up here in your settings. But for now, let's check it. So let's go ahead and push it to Shopify. Also, let's publish to online store. So. Push to Shopify, and it may take a few minutes to complete the process of sending the products to your Shopify store. So we have two here successful and one failed. So it could be that the product is not available or there's no stock. That's why it's not completed. So let's go ahead. So let's check the status. Okay, so yes, this is the reason why it has an error. So let's just skip this one. So we successfully imported our product here from the S E R S to our Shopify store, and to change the、uh, pricing rules, so you have here in your settings. And you can change it over here, the pricing rule that you like. And also, you have your report here to see the reporting, the sales report, and your home dashboard over here. All right. So you can also import your Shopify product here to your DSERS. You can also link to more store here. So if you have a different stores, then you can click here and. Link your other store. So let's just refresh our online website. So this is just a default website. So as you can see, guys, the product that we imported from the DSERS, the product automatically show up here, and when you click it, then this product has its own product page, as you can see. Where your customer can check the product, so it's less hassle in your end to manually do your own product page for a certain product. So I guess that's all for today's tutorial about DSERS and Shopify. So if you have any question, guys, just comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.